Oh, Megan, darling, what have you gotten yourself into this time? In the latest chapter of Megan Does America, our dear Duchess of Sussex has been caught in the crosshairs of a controversy that's got Fortnum and Mason spitting out their tea in disbelief. The allegation? Megan's apparently been playing a game of anything you can do, I can sell better, with none other than Highgrove Garden's exclusive products. Yes, you heard it right. Megan's accused of faking it till she makes it by selling lookalike goodies on Instagram, of all places. Let's unpack this royal mess, shall we? Megan decided it was high time to grace us mere mortals with her presence in the form of a new luxury brand, American Riviera Orchard. The launch was, predictably, accompanied by an Instagram video that had Megan prancing around her obscenely lavish kitchen, doing what she does best, pretending to be relatable. Enter Lynn Carrot from Pressbox PR, who couldn't help but point out the glaringly obvious. Who, pray tell, has a kitchen like that? And more importantly, who in their right mind would buy these luxury homemade products that are probably going to cost an arm and a leg? It's like Megan's living in her own little bubble, completely oblivious to the fact that most people are struggling to buy basic groceries, let alone fancy oils and jams. Now, Megan's never been one to shy away from a challenge, even if that challenge involves alienating her entire potential customer base. The wealthy? They're too busy hobnobbing with their own kind to bother with Megan's culinary adventures. And the common folk? Well, they're not exactly jumping at the chance to eat like royalty, especially when royalty means splurging on stuff that's not even on their shopping list. But here's where it gets juicy. Some eagle-eyed internet sleuths have noticed a striking similarity between Megan's so-called exclusive products and those sold by Highgrove Gardens, available at Fortnum & Mason in London. Talk about a faux pas. Megan's not just stepping on toes, she's doing a full-blown tap dance. Biscuits, jams, cookware. Sounds like the Duchess has gone on a copying spree, and Fortnum & Mason is not having any of it. Let's face it, Megan fancies herself a jack-of-all-trades, a renaissance woman for the modern age. But this, this is a disaster waiting to happen. Imagine the chaos when customers start returning their luxury purchases because they've realized they could get the real deal from Fortnum & Mason sans the Duchess markup. And let's not forget the royal warrants. Fortnum & Mason holds two bestowed by the highest echelons of the royal family. Meghan, on the other hand, might just have to settle for granting herself the title of Duchess of Knockoffs in her American dreamland. Because when it comes to competing with the big guns, Megan's latest venture is less about hitting the mark and more about missing it by a royal mile.